bring the pre-assembly machine to operational readiness. To do this, please refer to the corresponding operating instructions. Now the matched pre-assembly studs are inserted and fixed with the locking pin. The clamping jaw is inserted into the tapered mounting of the yoke plate. Make certain that the safety plate was inserted into the guide in order to avoid withdrawing the clamping jaw. In order to reduce friction, the flared cone must be lubricated in the tooth area and at the cylindrical shoulder. Position the flared cone on the pre-assembly stud. In doing this, the taper points to the end of the tube. The required assembly pressure is adjusted via activating mode and by using the arrow keys on the display. This is to be selected so that a distance of up to one millimeter is reached between the shoulder and tube end. Guide the union nut and the clamping ring after each other over the tube. Now move the tubing from the outside through the opening of the clamp jaw until it centers through the bevel on the flared cone and hold the tube in this position. In doing this, the union nut and the clamping ring remain outside the assembly space. In order to avoid slip through of the tube at the start of assembly, press the clamping jaws against the angled area of the yoke plate until it reaches the device. Start the pre-assembly procedure. The flared cone is now pressed into the tube. During the assembly procedure, the tube is clamped into the clamp jaws and held axially. Remove the pre-assembled tube. It is imperative that after each pre-assembly, a visual inspection be made to check for correct assembly results. In doing this, a check must be made to see whether the flared cone was pressed at right angles into the tube. The gap of up to one millimeter created by material resilience does not have any influence on the operation. The assembly pressure on the display is to be correspondingly corrected in the case of over or under assembly remove possible contamination before final assembly. The O-ring must not have any form of damage. The tube, pre-assembled with the 10-degree flared cone, can now be finally assembled.